I might have to subscribe to them again just to watch the videos. Yes, they are pretty good. So those, Chris, just uh, what, catching some YouTube videos. Yes, uh, we're, we're looking at... Um, oh, we've uploaded a video. Uh, still no views, I'm afraid. Uh, oh. Matt, on uh, your... Uh, it's not going to make me a millionaire yet, then. Uh, no, I'm afraid not, mate. No, no views, no comments, no nothing. So what we've been doing um, in the time since we shot the last video, which I know means meaningless to you, uh, guys, but uh, we've been running various locos around and there's some out of the boxes. And Chris has been having a run uh, of locos as well. And we've been discussing uh, how to wire this up properly because apparently I made a complete hash of it. And well, Chris, we've fixed it now, so. Yeah, Chris has been under the layout with a screwdriver and uh, it popped up again and said I've fixed it. So thanks, Chris. You're welcome. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'd done the polarity wrong. Was it polarity? Uh, yes. Um, so uh, what we've done is we've we just, uh, because you've got a, a four separate controllers in one sort of housing, um, the idea is to use what's called common return wiring. So, for instance, say you, you want your negative polarity to go, or your negative wire to go there, your negative wire would have to go there as well. To prevent prevent a short circuit mm. and a crossover. The the other thing you you've still got to do obviously is to uh, you need to cut the insulating get a uh, break in the rails on your crossovers just to avoid any potential short circuits or yeah. cutouts. So all of this stuff, um, because of the way this is wired together, yeah, is all effectively live, isn't it? Yeah, it's so only those point blades there. Yeah, so you, isolating yeah, that. So you just need to, to cut both rails there, mm -hmm. and the same with all the other crossovers that go between powered tracks. So these over here, but yes. these are um, actually insulated anyway, aren't they? With the frogs, not the, yeah, the frogs and stuff. But you still need an insulating brake because it's going from one powered track to another oh, powered okay. track. Okay, or so. Independently powered track, rather. So it's between two. Um, so mm -hmm. you need an insulating, insulating brake. You need more than just the, the um, insulating properties of the point blades. Right, so Mr. Uh, cutting Disc will have to make a visit to those. Yes. Huh? And we've been discussing over here, haven't we, um, how we could actually signal this up, and apparently this is going to be really difficult. Yes, it can be done, um, and I will have a go, um, possibly tonight when I've got some spare time. Because of all of this stuff, I guess. Yes. Yeah, so we've been not actually building anything, just uh, Chris has been fixing my electrics, really. Yes, so we've, uh, I've fixed um, a couple of your locos. Oh yes, and, uh, thanks for that, yes. Yeah. That's all right. A and, couple uh, of non-runners. Yes, and now they are runners, so it's all good. So I want to show you how this peak runs, actually, um, because oh, yes. you'll see that uh, starts really, really slowly, but then it eventually gets up to full speed. But I think it has a um, uh, what do I call it? Split I think gear. Split gear. So we can actually do that. It's uncommon on the newer forest like this, but not unheard of. <clears throat> so, do you want to take over the filming? Yes, I will take over the filming. Thank you. And uh, we'll show all the viewers what a lovely day it is outside, and we're stuck inside on a beautiful day like this. Even though we have sat outside for a short while and enjoyed um, a frosty cold beer, while, uh, while Matthew uh, enjoyed a, uh, a smoky cigarette. Um, um, well... The cigarette for me wasn't pleasant, but the beer was. Anyway, enough about me. Right, so, so we're going to see how this, this we'll pink So there we are, we're actually on full power. Yeah, that could be a split gear. And you can hear how it sounds. Yeah, possibly a split gear. I think the peak I used to wear um, was similar, but I don't recall it starting off so slowly. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of ticking. Mm. Uh, could be indicative of a uh, split gear. But if I just leave that, yeah. it will get faster and faster and faster. Yeah. Well, that's not very fast at all for uh, no. it's on full power. It'll get there. Does it do that every time? Every time. 
So if you stop it down and start it, it starts to dead slow. Yep. If I bring it to a halt down here somewhere, actually I'll bring it to a halt over there. Okay. So I'll just move it off the point. There we go. Okay. So, up to full power again. Mmm. That's a... It could be a dirty contacts or a dirty armature. Um, seems to indicate possibly high resistance. Those of you watching may be uh, a bit more learned in the ways of uh, model locomotives and mass on yourself. Um, any input will be uh, appreciated greatly. Mm. Um, because once it's running, it's fine. Pass the uh, camera back over to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so once it's running, it wasn't just in a good service. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, 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 it's absol